and welcome back to the Darth Mohawk Show. We hope. I might have these breaks mixed up, because, um, I'm just doing this in a single segment. But let's try level 4-9. Alright. More ladder monkeys. You're leaving now? It's okay, I'll just cut this part out. <laughs> Alright. This is a simple little level. Yeah, if you grab onto a monkey's tail too long, he whines at you. Show them no mercy! Do the do mere mortal Just don't more care of mere mortals, monkeys. Have their tails caught up in a knot? No, he does not! Alright, hurry up. Click. As you might have guessed, you kind of need some ladder monkeys. Alright. Now we're just gonna let this one ferry us all the way back since we have now opened up that gate. Yeah, it's a two-way gate. You have to make sure it's open when it, that leads to the key. Otherwise, you might make a mistake, cross the crossing anyway, and that'll be no good at all. Right. So now you've got the key. Traverse it back to the keyhole. That didn't work. To be honest, much of this game is kind of monotonous in that way. Grab the key, bring it to the keyhole, and solve the puzzle. That's okay, we try this anyway. Alright. Frogs! Oh, there's the key. I forgot it. The thing about frogs is that while you're standing on one, they jump high. Now I stop, I press jump to get high. But these things, they do jumping normally. And as you can just clearly tell, they don't hurt you. OW! Give my key back! Or not. Let us get bitten by a crocodigator. Right, let's try this one again. Cross the ropes. Stop and get that hat if you really want it. Now I've got the key. Jump, Mr. Froggy. Jump like you've always jumped before. Alright. The key is also an indestructible weapon of much destruction. Use it whenever you really think you can. Take out some of them Croco Gators. That'll teach them to be enemies of Mario. Although coconuts will do just as well. More ladybugs. The reason they put that frog there is just so you can acquire the hat. But I'm not going for Pauline's purses and such. Come on, ladder. Whoa, that's weird. Let's have those bridges. Alright. Whoa, he's chucking mini mushrooms. That ain't no good. Oh well. Sometimes Mara shuts the door and sometimes he doesn't. I got no clue why he does that. Right, and it seems we've made it all the way up to another Donkey Kong battle. Well, let's start grabbing the battles. Here's a new twist though. Every time you hit him right now, oops, he'll drop a mini mushroom out of the barrels. Alright, let's try that one again. We gotta go up. Donkey Kong throws a barrel. Mario grabs a barrel. Mario takes a barrel and hits Donkey Kong. Ow! Well, apparently you've now learned what mini mushrooms do. They make you small, and in my case, they make you tumble to your doom. Let's try this one one more time. Er, 59 more times if need be. But I really don't think I'm that pathetic. Uh. Oh! Okay, in that case, instead of getting shrunk and falling right here, I just got hit by the direct approach. Hmm.
interesting how Mario has to fall a little bit off the screen before he dies. Are there spikes or croco gators down there? Hmm. The answer to all your um the answer to all of your bottomless pick questions solved. My question is, why do I keep falling into that gosh darn thing? Whatever. After I clear this segment, is probably where I cut off. Ah! You will not make me small. Hey, where'd my barrel go? You're wasting them! Actually, is it even possible to hit him from here? Apparently so. There we go. It just occurred to me, are those bamboo poles in the background? I mean, they're not blocking me, so... I would... Seven! Holy crap! That is the biggest score I've ever made! 752, I ask you. That's eight extra men! Alright. This is where I break for today. So sorry, man. And women who are watching. Well, out of the jungle and into the desert. With swanky music, mind you. Uh, more accurately pyramid, but that's closer to the end. Whoa, the music's fritzing. I had better kick my machine. Ah well, goodbye.